Side. That's where that came from. Actually, no, no. this one did oh, not. Okay, this one sorry. came from Route 21. <laughs> <laughs> <Aaron> oh, classic. <laughs> that is hilarious. So, point in case, or uh, case in, in point. point. <laughs> and I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to wear her oh, shirts that classic. she gave me. And I was all excited. And I... this is where that came from. And you're like, no. all of our guests and listeners to take notes, leave comments, and when possible, always share what you hear. And now here are your hosts, Pastor Solo and Pastor Mia. Welcome everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's it is, Wednesday. It's happy Pico de Gallo. Happy Pico de Gallo. That's <clears throat> not really what it is. It's actually Cinco de Mayo or uh, shout out to Jesse, my son-in-law. He said, or Revenge of the Fifth. Because yesterday was May the, the 4th. fourth. May the fourth be with you, be with you. you. and also you. with you. Jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> Blow it up. Uh, Jellyfish. Give me a thumb. Okay. Turkey. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> uh huh. What? Turkey. What? See. Okay. Oh. That's supposed to be like that. Ow! 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 Okay. okay. Turkey. Ow! Ow. Anyway. Ow! Sound like that game. Ow! Ow! You know, when you do the... Today's, we're going to be reviewing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> no. Not, I'm joking. I'm I, joking. I know, but that was a mole. Whack-a-mole. Oh. Ow. Ah. Come on. The, oh, I'm sorry. I you never. I was going to say, you I never remember. took your kids to play? Yeah, we took them all the time. It was the thing with the... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Ah. Get it? Okay. I'm with you. Okay. All right. All right. I'm tracking now with you. Now we're caught up. Okay. And we're back. So Cinco de Mayo. What? Yay. <laughs> happy Cinco de Mayo. Or in the words of his father, happy Pico, Pico de, Gallo. de Gallo. And yeah. that's 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 the cause for my shirt. And um, I'm so excited because this is about our heritage. And that's what we're going to be talking about today is... Kind of. Well, yeah. Not yours, but partly yours. Yeah. Um, okay. Fine. He doesn't have to claim he's Mexican. It's well, fine. It's, it's it's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. It's well, complicated. let me let me say what it is first, so that everybody can understand. In case you don't come from this background, uh, which would be Mexican American, Mexican American. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's all I thought of when I heard that. Um, but movie line. But Cinco de Mayo is uh, it's the fifth of May in Spanish. What? <laughs> Tell me. Come keep on, going. come no, no. on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. I'm going to do something that you always do. Oh, yeah, awesome. Okay. The date is observed to commemorate the Mexican army's victory over the French Empire at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862, under the leadership of General Ignacio Zaragoza. And it's so funny because all I heard was, my name is, hello, my name is Ignacio Montoya. I come to kill your father. You killed my father? <laughs> Prepare to die. Prepare so, to die. Yeah, so it just made me laugh. Anyway, so let me tell you. There are parades, food, music, folk, folklorio, dancing, battle reenactments. Hey, are we having a dance battle? Yes, we are. Um, and it is observed by Mexicans and Mexican-Americans and people of non-Mexican heritage. I would like to know how many of you actually are wearing something to commemorate Cinco de Mayo today. Um, I was supposed to make a shirt for my sister and I didn't. It said, Orale! Orale! Yeah, and then... Um, you know what I like? What? No, I don't like it. Keep going. Well, well, okay. Anyway, and I forgot to make it. And because I didn't, I was going to go buy her the shirt and I missed it before the store closed. And it said, Malacita! <laughs> so it was so cute. Okay, my turn. Okay, your turn. All right, All right go. Here we go. Go. Tell me about it. Well, if there's cussing in here, I'm going to cut it out, but you know. Um, 
Mexican Americans don't like to just get into gang fights. They like flowers and music and white girls named Debbie too. Mexican Americans are named Chata and Chela and Chema and have a son-in-law named Jeff. <laughs> Mexican Americans don't like to get up early in the morning, but they have to, so they do it real slow. <laughs> Mexican Americans love education, so they go to night school and they take Spanish and get a B. Mexican Americans love their nanas and their nonos and their ninas and their ninos. Nanu, nanu, nina, no, no. Mexican Americans don't like to go to the movies where the dude has to wear contact lenses to make his blue eyes brown. Cause don't it make my brown eyes blue? And that's all I got. How do you like it? <laughs> I'm sorry. We love that song. That's why I can't hear the word Mexican American without saying Mexican American. Sorry. That was hilarious. So let me give you three facts. Three facts about Cinco de Mayo. All right. Bring it to the bring the heat. Okay. One of five. Oh, sorry. Five facts. Five facts about Cinco de Mayo, de Mayo that might surprise you. Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day. No, it's... They think that, okay? Number two of five. Cinco de Mayo celebrates a Mexican military victory. That's it. That's it. That's what it's about, okay? Oh. All right? Uh, three... Mexican... I mean, Cinco de Mayo... All I heard is Mexican America. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo! <laughs> Actually means what? Okay. Cinco de Mayo <laughs> is not widely celebrated in Mexico. Now, that's a good fact. That's right. how you can tell they're Tex-Mex. Yeah, that's Cinco true. de Mayo! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, four out of five Puebla hosts Mexico's largest Cinco de Mayo celebration. And five, Los Angeles hosts the world's largest Cinco de Mayo celebration. That's so cool. That I didn't even know that. And It's because Mexicans like to party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> shooting guns up in the air, which make no sense because the bullets are going to come down. Duh! Um, but in honor of Cinco de Mayo, we are talking about heritage today, and um, we just wanted to talk about our heritage because a lot of people, and I think we've talked about this before in other podcasts, a lot of people think that you are... Um, Mexican. Y yes. They think I'm Mexican. Yeah, and he is... Slightly, he's more yeah. Indian and not red dot Indian, <laughs> but Native, Native American. American. Sorry, Native American more than anything. Yeah, our family. Yeah, and I like to tell people that I'm Spaniard, you know, because of my light skin. Okay, in the winter I'm light, in the summer I'm dark. End of story. But um, part of my family is from Spain as well, so it, it's just funny to see them automatically think that you speak Spanish or that we both speak Spanish. I get that a lot. Yeah. And then you're like, it, huh? It's so funny because, um, see, we get started right off the bat. I know. It's funny because Tell me. people try to talk to me in Spanish or they'll, um, if they're trying to, I call it trying to connect. Okay. Hola, what's going on, man? And I'm like. You don't know hola? Yeah, I do know hola. But okay. they're saying, they can walk up to all their other friends and they never say hola. <laughs> Valid. So they're trying to connect with me and be like, hey, I know a little Spanglish. <laughs> Spain. Hola. <laughs> and I'm like, Coca Cola? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, mm. no, so I mean, like, yeah, no. Right. Yeah, so no. It, it's, it's funny. Like, I, I, I have story after story after story where um, you, have, you have individuals of other ethnic groups that try to connect by speaking Spanish, by um, trying to communicate and using Spanglish and, you know, different things. And it's, it's super awkward because I'm like, bro, I, I, don't, I don't speak Spanish. I'm, I'm more Native American than I am anything. Okay, but you don't speak Native you know? American either. Yeah, well, the, and I understand that. But at the same time, you know. Why would you stereotype me? Yeah, that's what I'm getting don't at. Don't put me in a box. You're a lighter shade of brown. <laughs> For all those that know the group. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> no, that's why I was like, hmm. 
Yeah, I remember that song. Um, or a song from so uh, so being being a lighter shade of brown, um, having the facial features, being in Texas for mm -hmm. all our people that are in Texas, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they get that in Arizona. I'm sure they get that in Southern California. I'm sure they get that, um, you know, all of the bordering states uh, with uh, of the United States, you know, that the the lighter shadow brown individuals automatically get lumped into, um, you must speak Spanish. Oh, yeah. You no, know? And no. It, it just, I think it's just funny because it's they're assuming heritage, right? Yeah. That's, that's literally like assuming that every black person that you come in contact with um has a native tongue from Africa or, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, or, you know, or every, every Asian, Asian person, person yeah. is of Chinese, Chinese or, or, no, yeah, or that. Chinese or Japanese. Yeah, you just descent, automatically assume. assume that they're all Chinese and yeah. that's not it. That's and, yeah, there's so many other countries in that, yeah. in that area, you know. And so I think it's just funny that, that a lot of times people, um, they don't understand their heritage. And I know some folks personally that um, they have a... Um, they have Anglo or European descent, or they have, or they're African American, um, or they're um, Mexican American, Mexican or American. Um, you know different different um, ethnic backgrounds or ethnic makeup, and they celebrate other heritages more than they embrace their own. Mm. You know, mm. um, I, I have seen that. You know, so where um, I know people that are they're more connected with. Um, with like you know, there's a lot of people that are connected with the Asian um, area culture, culture than um, some of the Asians are. And at the same time, there are individuals that I know personally that are connected more with the uh, with the Mexican or Hispanic or the Central American cultures more than they are with European American. with with your American and European cultures. Um, and they're not even from those areas. Hmm. So I mean, it. I think it's cool to appreciate culture, but I think it's. Um, wrong to appropriate culture or heritage. Put it on someone. Well, is no, what you're saying. Well, not just put it on someone, but but stereotyping. Take no appropriate mean meaning to take that culture and make it your own. Oh, um, well, a I lot think, of people I, do that. Well, I, I mean, I think there are people that do that. I think I think it's it's um, it's it's really to me it's really to me it's really a fine line because there's there's the point of where you appropriate it. In other words, you take it and you start using it as your own. Okay. Um, and saying this is mine now, and this is what I'm doing, and that's that's where a lot of backlash and stuff that's came in the past. But at the same time, it sounds like I think gentrification. It kind of well, it's kind of it's kind of along the same lines, okay. right? Okay. And so, but then you have the other individuals that they appreciate the culture, they admire their culture, they mm -hmm. they respect the culture, mm -hmm. they honor their culture, so they have they have that that humility about the culture, whatever it is, right? So. Mm -hmm. um, but they're not they're not necessarily appropriating it, right? So, for instance, you got your you got your um, I, want, I was just gonna call it a Mexican a Where Mexican, you? A Mexican Where blouse. You? Where I don't know what you? I don't even know what you call it. It's a shirt. I wasn't. It's not a t-shirt. But what you, what would you call that? Yeah. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Mexican American, so I can wear this shirt, and I'm not appropriating it. I well, my, my well, yeah. So what I was gonna say is like it's like it's like you get. Uh, uh, a, a African American woman, an Asian woman, or even a Anglo woman, mm -hmm. right? And they start wearing the Hispanic, the Hispanic traditional, and I, not even really traditional, but that the 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 heritage of the um, of the dresses, the Mexican mm -hmm. dresses, you know. So they go to they go to Mexico or you know the uh, South America or somewhere, right? And so they buy all this clothing, they come back to the United States and then that's all they wear. Yeah. That's appropriation. That's, you know, but you have a, like, I got this because it's, it sounds so funny saying this. No, no, this. no, no, come on. Cause well, I feel funny like, because like, I feel like you're, you, I think, I don't know. I feel like we're on a fine line here. It we is. We just went it's... from happy to here we go. <laughs> so go well, ahead. No, but it's funny because uh, to me it's, it's funny. And the reason I think it's funny is because there are people right now mm -hmm. on Cinco de Mayo mm -hmm. that are not Hispanic, uh -huh. that are not of Latin descent okay. or <clears throat> Latin X okay. um, descent, that um, they're wearing a Mexican dress today okay. to represent and to show honor and to respect because okay. it's Cinco de Mayo. The funny part about it is that most Mexicans, Latino Xs are not, are not doing <laughs> 
Okay, and I get that. I I'm get not that. doing that. So you're like, I feel okay. like it's kind of like it's kind of like a person showing up to a church or to an event that, uh, for, let's just say, example for um, to, for a June a Juneteenth event or in February celebrating uh, a Black History Month, right? Okay. So um, they're having an event, and then all the people that are white, Mexican, Asian show up in daishikis. That would be. That would be like huge offensive, huge, how can you say, massively okay. offensive. Okay, and I right? feel Does like... Does that make sense? Yes, but I feel like I don't know. you are offended. I'm too critical. Yes, you are. <laughs> I feel like you are offended. You're not even Mexican-American, and yet you're offended by the angle... I'm not even offended. I'm not offended. I think it's hilarious. But the, I feel animosity. You feel like, oh, you feel like I'm... Yes, a, yes. And I'm can like, you feel that animosity? I do. Don't y'all feel that? <laughs> and I'm just saying that... I feel like, you know, okay. I just think it's funny. You think it's funny, but I don't think you're saying funny, ha ha. <laughs> I think you're saying funny as in, I, I see what you're doing there. I, yeah. I disagree with it. I yeah, do disagree yeah, 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 yeah. I disagree That's with it. That's what I why meant I find to say. Funny. It's, it's funny to me because I disagree with it. I'm like, that makes that don't make any sense. Okay. Right? But here's the thing. Yes, you are right. There are probably lots of Mexicans and Mexican Americans that aren't celebrating Cinco de Mayo today. They are not wearing the Mexican shirt, the Mexican shoes, the you know, the the sandals, um, whatever it is. You know, the huaraches. Yeah, the huaraches, sorry. And the the you know, the sandals and all of that. Um and I feel like they are just supporting the Mexican culture, okay? They are not- Send me an offering, bro. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm just messing around. Pay my water bill. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just saying, it, it made me think of it because I'm like, I'm supporting my culture and if I see somebody else wearing it, okay, I don't get offended when I see an Anglo person wearing this. I don't either. I can feel it. It's. <laughs> So thick, I can cut it. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, maybe I am offended. I'll, but I'll, I'll give you the benefit you be, of the doubt. How I'll can you, you be of offended by a culture that you don't even represent? You said so at the beginning of this I, podcast. I, I do. You I, said I am Native American. You know what? Blah, 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 because, let me tell you, you, what, you know why. Eat. Because um, right is right and wrong is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no. And that's my no. argument. Why right are you is so right critical is what I'm asking. Right here, we're going to do this right here, right now. What is it that is so funny uh, with? What, what is, tell us, tell the world why it bothers you. I did. Because of gentrification? Yeah, it's well, because you're, it's appropriation. It's you're, appropriation. You're, 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 taking, oh. you're taking somebody. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. I know where he's coming from, guys. I had to get in it. I had to pull it out. So because he is Native American and his land was stolen, his heritage, his family's land, he really takes this serious. And I think he sees the same thing happening in the Mexican culture by other cultures. And I think for him, I would say that that is a trigger. <laughs> And so he automatically, you know, what up? you know, type thing. But Can and I know that, that, was, that, that? I was I was like, that's that's the same thing. But that's Bruce Lee's favorite drink. Y'all stop. Anyway. Let but, the emails commence. <laughs> yeah. You guys are racist. <laughs> we're really are, not. We're funny. just listen, we're talking about things that you thought about. We're just talking about well, it. Well, it's like and it is. It, I, I guess I wouldn't. I guess it's more of a pet peeve. Yes. Um, yes, it from is. From that perspective, for yes, me. Yes, it is. Because, um, like, when I watch movies, and they'll have um, white American, European Americans playing Asian parts, or playing Mexican parts, or Native Americans. or Native American parts, right? And so you're like, that's okay. You can talk about uh, Tonto from right. the '70s and the '80s. Yeah, 80s. like I mean, so you got you got these different guys that are being played by Anglo Americans now. 15, I'll say 15, 40, 50 years ago, I could totally see that, you know, because that's the way the society and everything was. But what you're going back to what you said about, um, about being a fit, it, it, it is, it is kind of a pet peeve. It does bother me. Um, cause I would run in when I would tell people growing up. So you gotta imagine I was 17, 18 years old in high school, um, uh, going through the police academy, going to, going to school, you know, going through college, all this, 
And so when you tell people that you're not Hispanic or Latino, that you're primarily, excuse me, you're primarily um, Native, American. Native American, immediately their, their rebuttal or their response is, oh, I'm American, I'm, I'm Indian also. Oh. And, and oh. My, my, my great great somebody was Apache or, or Navajo or, you know, Comanche or like whatever, like, you know, they, and you're just sitting there and you're going, you look, you you look so white. I would I would think maybe you might be Spaniard before you'd be Indian or Native American, yeah. right? And so, growing up over the years, all those years, that's where it, it bothers me that that happens to not just Native Americans, but that happens to all other races, races well. or cultures, yeah. heritages, mm -hmm. uh, legacies that that literally get hijacked mm -hmm. by. And I'm not and I'm not saying just with white Americans. It happens in all a lot of different areas, not just with white Americans, but just just in general. Yeah. You know, it's one thing. I'll give you an example. So for myself, I, I'm Native American, right? But I don't own. So, you say. so I say, I don't <clears throat> own. Um, what do you call it? I don't own a, a headdress. I don't own uh, original handmade. Um, dance garb. I don't, I don't, I don't even hardly, I think I've probably been to, I think we've probably been to one powwow, mm -hmm. um, in all my life. My sister, my sisters and my brothers, they go real often to different powwows. Um, but that's, that's not, I'm, it's exact, going back to what you said, like, I, that's who I am, but I don't wear that. Right. Okay. And so for me, for somebody that's, that's opposite of that, they're like, well, I'm not, I'm 2% Indian. So I've got this yeah. I got to sneeze, bro. Oh, okay, okay. <coughs> ah, bless you. Whew. Okay, well, okay. Edit that out. So <laughs> I will say that I will say that the I can see where you are slightly offended. Uh, offended. <laughs> what was the word you used a minute ago? Not agitated, but um, pet peeve. Pet peeve. I could see where that could be a pet peeve for you. Um, and we're talking about heritage and I want to bring it back to this for a minute. So I did get to go to a, a Native American um, dance. It was for the pow -wow. rain, a powwow for the yeah. rain. And it was on the reservation in the Jemez Mountains and um, you have to be invited there. You can't just go there and you can't have cameras, you can't take pictures and that kind of thing. And I remember my cousin... Um, uh, her grandfather was the governor of the tribe there on the reservation. And I remember her saying when we came back to the States or, you know, when you come out, she says, off the, off the, reservation. Off the res, she says, you know, all these people wear moccasins, but they don't understand. They're not to be worn. They're to be worn for the dance, dance. but people wear them, you know. But then that's, that's, that's the part that it, it, it belittles the value. Yes. That's, okay. That's all that. it right there. It belittles all that, that to say. say. It belittles, belittles the, the value of, of the your heritage. heritage. Your heritage, your culture, yeah. the history. So, um, but I don't see it that way. You see it that way, but I don't see it that way. When I, now there, are, don't get me wrong. There are some people that do that and they are hijacking our heritage and they are appropriating it and they are, um, gentrifying it, trying to gentrify our heritage by not getting original made from the res, you know, from the reservations or where from Mexico, Hecho in Mexico, you know, type thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying they, there, there are people that do that. They do that. Yeah. So absolutely. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about my friends that say, <laughs> Mia, we love your culture. We are going to wear that because we're celebrating you. you. I get that. Okay. So I'm okay with that. That's okay. cool. But there are more on the other side. Yes. Than I there feel, are. We don't have a, 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 a we haven't have we don't have a current study. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of how many people there actually are. No. We haven't got Pew research and we haven't got um uh, what's the other Barna. One? Barna research hasn't come out with those studies yet, yeah. but you know, we feel observantly on the outside yes. that there's a lot more. Yeah. And you know, the, this to say not 
uh, we don't know how many of you out there feel like this. You see, he took it one way, I took it the other way. Um, but that's, I think, what balances us out. And I think, I think sometimes I overthink stuff and I oversee stuff, and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa that's not what they're doing. Yeah. They're not always thinking about you, Mia. <laughs> right. You know, type right. thing. Yeah. So just saying that. To Calm say, down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down, okay? Um, and I'm just saying, you know, I was thinking about this because y'all know that I was working for my friend and she is from uh, Puerto Vallarta or a little town outside. That's where that came from. Actually, no, no. this one did oh, not. Okay, this one sorry. came from Route 21. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> classic. That is hilarious. So, point in case, or uh, case in, in point. point. <laughs> and I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to wear her oh, shirts classic. that she gave me. And I was all excited. And, and this is where that came from. And you're like, no, actually, it came from <laughs> Route 21. 21. But technically, if you go back and you follow where it was actually made, it was probably made in India. Yeah, yeah, and then slapped a label <laughs> on it. Now, that's appropriation of funds, okay? Now, I will say I was going to wear her shirt because I am I am probably, before I go and see her, put her shirt I'm on. Done. Stop. <laughs> go ahead and slap it. Anyway, saying this to say I was volunteering for her, working for her a short time, and immediately, because I walked in there, everybody thought that I could speak Spanish, and I'm like, no, and they were actually offended with that because they felt that I was appropriating the funds for me and to better me as an American and not a Mexican American, an Anglo American. And I'm just like, I'm, I, I'm one of you. And they just couldn't see that. And so I had to learn the language. So, and they were like, well, and, and there, there was a story actually that we even sat and I told them, listen, my mom and dad didn't teach us Spanish because they wanted to keep it a secret langu language between them. So you're like, well, why didn't you learn? And here's the, here's the irony of that, is that my mom and dad spoke Spanish. We didn't learn Spanish because they didn't want us to struggle with having a, uh, a dialect or having a, um, what is that called? Accent. An accent. Um, they wanted to make it as easy as possible for us to be able to uh, maneuver and to, to go through. Yeah, to blend in. To blend in with the system. Yeah. So that we would have, we would have the greatest advantage yeah and we it wouldn't be that well because so, your skin the, color was already yeah, against, against you. you but it's funny because now we're 50 years later yeah right 70 years and now later, we all need to learn and now everybody yeah. speaking spanish yeah. which same is, thing well my parents did the same my mother uh has a story where she got embarrassed because she went to school and she spoke spanish and she really shouldn't have but it really affected her and so she was like that will not happen to my kids so we didn't learn and now yeah. i'm like you know, and now yeah. I'm having to learn as an adult and because it's necessary for me to communicate and not appropriate to communicate so that I can honor my friends. Yeah. And I, so much more. I, I'm, I'm I know. Stop. Don't do it. Don't do I'm it. Don't right do it. Blow that. That's, what, what, let's save that for another <laughs> podcast. Anyway, thank you guys. Celebrate your heritage. It is our uh, part of our heritage um, to celebrate Cinco de Mayo today. Thanks for winning the battle at Pueblo and, um, you know, and whatever year that and was. go get one of these shirts at Rue 21, Do not. <laughs> do not seek the treasure. Do not do what I did. Oh, man. Listen, it was just for camera's sake, okay? That's hilarious. Okay? All right. Man, thank you guys for subscribing. A big shout out to um, Mandy and Gabriel tuning in. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, Jamie and Cal. Thank you guys, Hi. man. Appreciate you guys Ms. Patty. subscribing. Miss Patty, appreciate you guys. And, and one of our sons, uh, Austin. Austin. Hi. Keeping, keeping tabs on us. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Man, you guys uh, go like, share, subscribe, man. Tell people to subscribe. We're trying to hit that 1,000 subscribers. And we'll please don't be offended. We weren't coming at you from uh, any of your yeah, heritage we no, at all. <laughs> we're not saying that. We're talking about the misappropriation side. Cool. All right. Love you guys. Love you guys. Peace. Thank you for listening to the Riverside Weekly. Download the Riverside Waco app to stay connected and follow us on all social media sites at the Riverside Waco. This podcast is made possible by the givers of Riverside Community Church. Production and engineering provided by Capital G and RTV in Waco, Texas.